Meta has just released their highly anticipated Elama 3 model, which is open source and offers a range of new features for improved AI performance. This is an exciting development for the AI community. Let's hear what Mark Zuckerberg has to say about it, and then we'll dive into the technical details to understand the significance of this release. All right, big day here. We are releasing the new version of Meta AI, our assistant that you can ask any question across our apps and glasses. And our goal is to build the world's leading AI and make it available to everyone. Now, today we are upgrading Meta AI with Llama, our new state-of-the-art AI model that we're open sourcing. And I'm gonna go deeper on Llama 3 in just a minute, but the bottom line is that we believe that Meta AI is now the most intelligent AI assistant that you can freely use. To make Meta AI even smarter, we've also integrated real-time knowledge from Google and Bing right into the answer. We're also making Meta AI much easier to use across our apps. We built it into the search box that's right at the top of WhatsApp, Instagram, Facebook, and Messenger. So anytime you have a question, you can just ask it right there. And we built a new website, meta.ai, uh, for using it from the web. We're also releasing a bunch of unique creation features. Meta AI now creates animations and it now creates high quality images so fast that it actually generates and updates the images for you in real time as you're typing. Uh, it's pretty wild and you can go check it out now on WhatsApp or the website. We are investing massively to build a leading AI. And open sourcing our models responsibly is, is an important part of our approach. The tech industry has shown over and over that open source leads to better, safer, and more secure products, faster innovation, and a healthier market. And beyond improving meta products, these models have the potential to help unlock progress in fields like science, healthcare, and more. So today, uh, we're open sourcing the first set of our Llama 3 models at 8 billion and 70 billion parameters. They have best-in-class performance for their scale, and we've also got a lot more releases coming soon that are going to bring multimodality and bigger context windows. We're also still training a larger, dense model with more than 400 billion pers. And to give you a sense of Llama 3's performance, this first release of the 8 billion is already nearly as powerful as the largest Llama 2 model. And this version of the 70 billion model is already around 82 MMLU uh, with leading reasoning and math benchmark. The 400 billion parameter model um, is, is currently around 85 MMLU, um, but it's still training. Um, so we expect it to be industry leading on a number of benchmarks. We're gonna write a blog post with more technical details on all of this if you wanna go deeper. Uh, in the meantime, enjoy Meta AI and let me know what you think. So Mark Zuckerberg shared a lot of information that needs to be analyzed. The release offers more than what many of us expected. Let's start with the benchmarks, which show the Metalama 3 model's impressive performance. What's surprising about these benchmarks is that the Llama 3 model is actually state of the art, meaning it's the best AI currently available at its size. Looking at the seven and eight billion parameter models, Llama 3 leads the way in the open source domain. What's even more surprising is that when compared to other models like Claude Sonnet, Llama 3 demonstrates a notable advantage. Interestingly, the Llama 3 model has managed to outperform Claude 3 Sonnet, which is part of the Claude 3 family of large language models. Although we don't know the exact size of Claude 3 Sonnet, it's impressive that Llama 3, with its 70 billion parameters, has surpassed this state-of-the-art model that is widely used. This development demonstrates the dynamic nature of the AI industry, with market leaders constantly changing as models are improved and updated. For Meta and Llama 3, this could be a significant advantage, allowing them to maintain dominance through their ability to continuously enhance their models and outperform competitors on benchmarks. The open source nature of Llama 3 makes these advancements even more unexpected, as open source models are typically geared towards the developer community rather than aiming for dominance in benchmarks. Despite this, Llama 3 has even surpassed Gemini 1.5 Pro in benchmarks like MMLU, which is quite impressive. Comparing Llama 3 to similar size models like Google's Gemma and Mistral's 7B Instruct, it's clear that Llama 3 significantly outperforms these competitors in terms of performance and general abilities. This is surprising, as even established companies like Mistral are being surpassed in their ability to launch cutting-edge AI systems to further enhance Llama 3's capabilities. Meta focused on optimizing its performance for real-world scenarios. They developed a new, high-quality human evaluation set 
containing 1-800 prompts that covered 12 crucial use cases, including advice, brainstorming, classification, and more. To prevent accidental overfitting of their models on this evaluation set, Meta's modeling teams do not have access to it. This approach emphasizes the importance of human-centric AI development, as humans are the ultimate users of these technologies. This focus on human-centric AI development highlights the importance of optimizing AI systems for human use rather than solely for benchmarks. Initiatives like the LMYS leaderboards, which rank LLMs based on their practical usability, are crucial in determining the true effectiveness of these models. In the end, the day-to-day -day functionality and user-friendliness of AI models are more important than their performance on benchmarks like MMLU or GSM 8K. Unless a model has a specific niche use case, its ability to be used by real people in everyday scenarios should be the primary measure of its success. In a human evaluation test against other state-of-the-art models, Llama 3 performed surprisingly well. When pitted against Claude Sonnet, Llama 3 emerged victorious in 52% of cases, tied in 12.9%, and lost only 34% of the time. Llama 3's impressive performance extends beyond Claude Sonnet, with the model consistently outperforming competitors like Mistral Medium, GPT 3.5, and even Matisse's own Llama 2. This indicates significant advancements in efficiency and effectiveness, all while maintaining the same number of parameters. Moreover, Llama 3 outperforms both open source and closed source models in pre-trained model performance, showcasing the remarkable capabilities of Meta's latest AI system. The 8 billion parameter Llama 3 model outperforms both Mistral and Gemma, showcasing its exceptional performance. Interestingly, even the 70 billion parameter Llama 3 model outperforms Gemini Pro 1.0 and Mistral's recently released 8.2b model. This is surprising considering the unexpected nature of Mistral's releases, which often appear without warning or detailed information. Mistral, as an open source AI company, has a unique approach to releases. They share download links with little to no context leaving users to discover and evaluate the features themselves. Given this unpredictable release style, it's impressive that Llama 3 has managed to stay ahead of Mistral's latest offerings. Despite Mistral's smaller size and fewer resources compared to a tech giant like Meta, their accomplishments in the open source AI realm are commendable. Even with Mistral's recent $2 billion raise, the comparison to Meta's vast financial backing is striking. However, their Ability to perform marginally better than a model released just days ago highlights their innovative spirit. In terms of model architecture, Llama 3 employs a tokenizer with a 128,000 token vocabulary, which encodes language more efficiently and results in improved model performance. The training data used for Llama 3 is also intriguing, as it provides valuable insights into the model's foundation and capabilities. People are always interested in understanding the underlying mechanics of AI systems, and Llama 3's training data offers a unique glimpse into its inner workings. Llama 3's impressive performance is partly attributed to its training data, which consists of over 5 trillion tokens sourced from publicly available information. This data set is seven times larger than the one used for Llama 2, and it includes four times more code, demonstrating Meta's dedication to enhancing Llama 3's capabilities. To prepare for future multilingual applications, Meta has also included high-quality non-English data covering over 30 languages in the training data set. However, they acknowledge that performance in these languages may not be on par with English. This focus on extensive, diverse, and high-quality training data is key to Llama 3's exceptional performance compared to other models of similar size. Lastly, Meta's announcement of a full-time 100 billion parameter model for Llama 3 is truly groundbreaking. This development not only demonstrates their commitment to pushing the boundaries of AI technology, but also opens up new possibilities for research and experimentation with large language models. If you enjoyed this video and want to stay updated on the latest AI developments, be sure to subscribe to my channel, AI Gridlock. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more exciting AI news and insights.